time we're in conversation three. We're on uh, two different pages in our book. Uh, classroom activity two is on page 48. Our other page is 105. So you're going to have to flip back and forth between the two pages. Okay. So uh, we're going to uh, you have information about some famous American inventions. Your partner has information about the others. You're going to take turns asking about the dates of invention. Okay. A. Listen and repeat. When was the laser printer invented? B. It was invented in 1969. Okay, notice that when we read dates, we, re we read the first two numbers together, like 19, then we read the last two together, 69. Okay, that's how we read them when we're using dates. It's our little way of letting people know that's the thing we're using. Okay, so let's look at the airplane. When was the airplane invented? It was invented in 1903. Listen and repeat and write down the correct date. When was the airplane invented? It was invented in 1903. When was the potato chip invented? It was invented in 1853. When was the microwave invented? It was invented in 1947. When was the telephone invented? It was invented in 1876. When was the smartphone invented? It was invented in 2000. Now this is the exception. When you have uh, uh, like 2000 or 3000 or whatever, 1000, you just do the thousand. Well, let's do this one more time. When was the smartphone invented? It was invented in 2000. When was a light bulb invented? It was invented in 1878. When was the automobile invented? It was invented in 1969. When was the GPS invented? It was invented in 1994. What you guys call navigation, we call GPS, Global Positioning System. It's a series of satellites that are all over the world that determine where something is. And the world is GPS mapped by people walking around with little boxes and they figure out where the satellite is and so they figure out exactly where things are. And most of the world has been GPS mapped since 1994. I in fact know the guy who <laughs> helped map Maryland, the state of Maryland. Okay, one more time. When was the GPS invented? It was invented in 1994. When was the hamburger invented? It was invented in 1896. When was the phonograph invented? Phonograph plays records. And we now call them turntables. At the time it was called a phonograph. When was a phonograph invented? It was invented in 1877. When was a film camera invented? It's a camera with film in it. This is different from a digital camera. When was a film camera invented? It was invented in 1885. When was a computer invented? It was invented in 1937. And as you can see from the picture, one computer took up an entire room. You know where your computer is right now? Your, your smartphone is, is smarter than the computer that sent people to the moon. Okay, let's uh, do this one more time. When was a laser printer invented? It was invented in 1969. Listen and repeat, and be sure you have the right dates. When was the potato chip invented? It was invented in 1853. When was a microwave invented? It was invented in 1947. 
When was the telephone invented? It was invented in 1876. When was the smartphone invented? It was invented in 2000. When was the light bulb invented? It was invented in 1878. When was the automobile invented? It was invented in 1893. When was GPS invented? It was invented in 1994. When was a hamburger invented? It was invented in 1896. When was a phonograph invented? It was invented in 1877. When was a film camera invented? It was invented in 1885. When was the computer invented? It was invented in 1937. Optional activities, pages 49 to 51. Pages 49 to 50 are not on your test. Page 51 is you really need to study because it's an example of the things that will be on your test. Listening. Easter Island. Listen to the report on Easter Island. Uh, and then write T for true and F for false to answer the questions. Okay. Easter Island. Okay, one moment. Let me get to that. Okay. Easter Island is in danger from climate change. Climate change is the fact that the ice uh, glaciers are melting and the earth is getting warmer and it's causing changes in our environment. Easter Island is in danger from climate change. Ocean waves are starting to erode. That means break down. Erode the statues. The statue is a, is a uh, usually stone, but it might be metal, uh, something carved by people. It might be wood. He wrote the statues built by an ancient civilization. Ancient is a long time ago. If good solutions, solutions are uh, how you fix or fixes the problems. Okay? If good solutions are not found soon, the island may lose its culture for a second time. The small island is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It was first discovered by the Polynesians about 1,000 years ago. That is where its famous Moai statues were built. However, the island was abandoned centuries ago. Scientists believe the resources were overused and the diseases were brought by European explorers. Today, the biggest problem for Easter Island is climate change. Last year, the island was visited by more than 100,000 tourists. If its statues are destroyed by rising sea levels, tourism will disappear from the island. This may kill the economy and affect all of the 6,000 locals. Time is running out for Easter Island. Okay, listen, write true or false. T for true, F for false. Listen one more time. Easter Island is in danger from climate change. Ocean waves are starting to erode the statues built by an ancient civilization. If good solutions are not found soon, the island may lose its culture for a second time. The small island is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It was first discovered by the Polynesians around 1,000 years ago. That is when its famous Moai statues were built. However, the island was abandoned centuries ago. Scientists believe that its resources were overused and that diseases were brought by European explorers. Resources are things found like stone or wood or water. Scientists believe that its resources were overused and that diseases were brought by European explorers. Today, the biggest problem for Easter Island is climate change. Last year, the island was visited by more than 100,000 tourists. If its statues are destroyed by rising sea levels, tourism will disappear from the island. This may kill the economy and affect all of the 6,000 locals. Time is running out for Easter Island. 
Easter Island is threatened by climate change. True. Easter Island, it, it, sorry, it is located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. False. It's in the Pacific Ocean. It was first discovered by Europeans. False. It was discovered by Polynesians first. Uh, it was abandoned centuries ago. True. Its resources were overused and de diseases were introduced. True. Its economy now depends on tourism. True. It is visited by over a million tourists every year. False. It's 100,000 tourists. Its statues are being eroded by rising ocean levels. True. Okay. Pronunciation. Listen to sounds with B. Now, we're combining sounds. Uh, the two, if the two vowels are close, uh, the, if the uh, uh, vowels are close enough together, they they sound like is and was. They sound like a Z sound. Listen and repeat. Your answer is awaited. Your answer is awaited. The man is suspected. The man is suspected. So it sounds like is and then before an S, is suspected. The money was earned. The money was earned. Briefcase was stolen. Or briefcase, briefcase was stolen. So if there are two S's together, you make a Z sound with the first S. Her briefcase was stolen. Okay, are and were. His commands are obeyed. The books are returned. The facilities were inspected. Your letters were received. One more time. His commands are obeyed. The books are returned. The facilities were inspected. Your letters were received. Reading and writing, the history of pizza. Oh, this is going to make me very hungry. I don't know if I want to read this. Read the article about pizza. Find and underline six more passive sentences and write them as active ones. I'm going to write them as active ones below. So underline when you see anything by. That's a, that's a passive sentence. Okay. Bread has been baked for over 7,000 years by people in Europe. Many historians also believe that the ancient Greeks flavored their breads with herbs, onions, and garlic. In Persia, evidence of cheese-topped breads has been found by archaeologists. In the 16th century, the name pizza emerged for flatbreads in Naples. Those flatbreads were considered a food for poor people by the Italians. They lacked flavor. Fortunately, tomatoes were brought to Europe by explorers. By the 18th century, pizzas looked similar to today's pizzas. The range of new toppings were, was described by Alexander Dumas. According to him, customers in Naples could order oil, lard, tallow, cheese, tomato, or anchovies on their pizzas. In the 19th century, pizza crossed the ocean to America. At first, pizza was consumed by Italian immigrants to the U.S., the popularity of pizza grew enormously after World War II when American soldiers came home from Europe with a love for the tasty meal. Nowadays, pizza is enjoyed by people all over the world. This ancient, the ancient snack has truly become an international favorite. Ancient means very old. Okay? Explorer is someone who goes to a new place and looks around or exploring. Okay, in the picture, you see uh, the Colosseum in Rome. The pizza you're seeing, it has uh, tomato sauce. Uh, it has uh, tomatoes, and the green stuff is called basil. It's delicious. This is called a Napoli pizza. Uh, it's very, very good. Okay, let's read this one more time. Bread has been baked for over 7,000 years by people in Europe. 
Many historians also believe the ancient Greeks flavored their breads with herbs, onions, and garlic. In Persia, evidence of cheese top breads has been found by archaeologists. In the 16th century, the name pizza emerged for flatbreads in Naples. These flatbreads were considered a food for poor people by the Italians. They lacked flavor. Fortunately, tomatoes are brought to Europe by explorers. By the 18th century, pizzas looked similar to today's pizzas. The range of new toppings was described by Alexander Dumas. According to him, customers in Naples could order oil, lard, tallow, cheese, tomato, or anchovies on their pizzas. In the 19th century, pizza crossed the ocean to America. At first, pizza was consumed by Italian immigrants to the U.S. The popularity of pizza grew enormously after World War II when American soldiers came home from Europe with the love for the tasty meal. Nowadays, pizza is enjoyed by people all over the world. This ancient snack has become an international favorite. Okay, reading and writing answers, page 50. Write, listen, and repeat. In Persia, archaeologists have found evidence of cheese top breads. Evidence means facts. They found proof that this happened. In Persia, archaeologists have found evidence of cheese top breads. The Italians considered those flatbreads a food for poor people. The Italians considered those flatbreads a food for poor people. Fortunately, explorers brought tomatoes to Europe. Fortunately, explorers brought tomatoes to Europe. Alexander Dumas described the range of new toppings. Alexander Dumas described the range of new toppings. At first, Italian immigrants to the U.S. consumed pizza. At first, Italian immigrants to the U.S. consumed pizza. Nowadays, people all over the world enjoy pizza. At, nowadays, people all over the world enjoy pizza. If you are ordering in an American restaurant, this pizza is also called the margarita pizza. The one with basil, tomatoes, and uh, cheese. Okay, grammar review. Let's take a look at our grammar review. Label the sentences with A for active or P for passive. Remember, a passive sentence has by in it. The bank was robbed on Friday. So that's passive. An old man lives by the sea. That's passive. Snow was covering the ground. That's active. If it were passive, it, was, it would say the ground was covered by snow. The noise was heard a mile, that noise was heard a mile away. That noise was heard a mile away. Okay, that is an active sentence. Okay. Um, the boys in the group are famous. The boys in the group are famous. Uh, that would be, uh, that would be, number four is an active sentence. Okay, number three is passive. The noise was heard a mile away. You don't know um, who heard the noise, so that's passive. Okay, five. She was seen running away. That's passive. She was seen running away. You are being investigated for fraud. That is passive. That is passive. One, A, uh, active, two, active. Three, passive. Four, active. Five, passive. Six, passive. Okay. Complete the sentence using simple pass or will in the correct passive form. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, the 
uh, Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. The first Olympic Games were held in Athens. The first Olympic Games were held in Athens. Write, listen, and repeat. The first Olympic Games were held in Athens. The 100th anniversary will be celebrated in 2047. The 100th anniversary will be celebrated in 2047. The Statue of Liberty was given to America by France. The Statue of Liberty was given to America by France. The 2026 uh, FIFA Cup or FIFA World Cup will be hosted by Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. The 2026 FIFA World Cup will be hosted by Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. Cities will be built on floating islands in the future. Cities will be built on floating islands in the future. The early Star Wars films were created by George Lucas. The early Star Wars films were created by George Lucas. Okay. Answers, page 51. I'm going to review B. All right, C. Complete the passive exercises to match the active ones. She teaches art history. So write, listen, write, repeat. Listen, write, repeat. Example, the girls are drawing pictures. Pictures are being drawn by the girls. She teaches art history. Art history is taught by her. They do their, sorry, I am writing letters. Letters are being written by me. I am writing letters. Letters are being written by me. They do their homework. Their homework is being done by them. Sorry, their homework is done by them. They do their homework. Their homework is done by them. Brett buys candies every day. Candies are brought are bought by Brett every day. Brett buys candies every day. Candies are bought by Brett every day. We are building the house. The house is being built by us. We are building the house. The house is being built by us. Louis is sending the file. The file is being sent by Louis. You can also pronounce it Louis. Louis is sending the file. The file is being sent by Louis. Okay. Fill in the blanks. Listen, write, Repeat. The court declared him guilty. He was declared guilty by the court. Guilty means you did something wrong. Okay. The court declared him guilty. He was declared guilty by the court. He proved the liars wrong. The liars were proven wrong by him. He proved the liars wrong. The liars were proven wrong by him. Her teachers consider her bright. She is considered bright by her teachers. They named their son Christopher. Their son was named Christopher by them. She dyed her hair blonde. Her hair was dyed blonde by her. He calls his cat Princess. His cat is called Princess by him. He calls his cat Princess. His cat is called Princess by him. Wow, we're done with another chapter. We just completed Unit 6. We completed Unit 6. What you need to do for study to study for this chapter is study your grammar focus. Be sure you can make active sentences and make sure you can make passive sentences. Be sure you're able to do that. Okay? 
uh, and use your grammar review in order to practice it. Uh, look up any word you don't understand in your electronic dictionary. Great job. Have a wonderful day.